Aries, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a timeless reading for you. Whenever you're drawn to the video is when it's for you. No particular subject, we'll tech an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your first house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the continued support. The easiest way is via the like, share, subscribe, comments. Does wonders for the growth, uh, very much appreciated. Thank you to all the Patreon members and all those that purchase private reads, the extended, the buy me a coffees, the donations, it all very much helps out and keeps me doing this. So thank you very much indeed. Description box has all the information you need and cross watchers, you are more than welcome. Okay, Aries, what's going on? Let's do two more. have the nine of pentacles financial freedom spiritual attainment okay okay I'm, I'm very much focused on the glove and i almost feel like the gloves are off so this could be more in regards to arguments let's see something we're aware of something we're not aware of Recent past advice. Potential outcome. Okay. We have the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Wands, Queen of Swords, Six of Wands, Four of Cups, Ace of Wands and Judgment. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I was just going to say, um, it kind of feels like you've got some options here. Somebody's, there's, gonna, there's somebody new and there's somebody from your past that's willing to fight for you. And it's all starting because literally I was wanting to cut the deck and the sun wants to come out. What we're aware of is the moon. Uh, the sun and the moon together is eclipse. We are in eclipse season. Um I kind of feel like somebody's going to fight for you. There's somebody from the past coming back, but there's also somebody brand new as well. Um, if this isn't about love, this is this. if this is about pentacle energy, this could be um, um, people wanting to work with you. This could be opportunities at work. Um, really pay attention to your dreams as well, because um, what we're not aware of is the High Priestess. So we've got the moon, we've got the high priestess. Um, in the recent past, we have the knight of wands. For me, this is talking about somebody from the past. It may have been, the knight of wands traditionally can be the player. So there could have been somebody that's a bit of a player. Um, could be coming back and wanting to fight for something here because that glove is still standing out massively. Your advice is the seven of cups. This to me says that there's options. This to me says that not only is there somebody from the past coming back, so that'll be the kind of the Three of Cups energy, um, but there's also something new that's coming in, which is the Ace of Cups. Trust your intuition in whatever this is. Again, like I say, this could be business related. This could be a past employer wants you back who's ready to fight for you with maybe in offering more money with the Nine of Pentacles here. Uh, but for a lot of you, I kind of feel like this is based on some sort of relationship. Either way, it's a wish fulfillment. Um, for a lot of you, you feel like this past person might be the wish fulfillment, but be aware they might be coming with a lot of, I'm not going to say baggage because that sounds awful. Um, I'll just say energy, un un unwanted energy. 
the potential outcome is the Ten of Cups. So I kind of feel like all, all roads lead to happiness for you. Providing you follow your intuition. Your intuition is on point at the moment and you need to really trust it. One of my favourite combinations in a spread is the High Priestess and the Seven of Cups. This is the High Priestess is clearing a path for you. The High Priestess usually clears a path as in gets rid of anything that's old, destructive or anything like that. So my intuition would tell you to lean towards the new here. Again, trust your intuition. It's more important. Um, but do pay attention to your dreams as well. It's the Moon and the High Priestess um, uh, is here to suggest that. Interestingly as well with this um, uh, Nine of Pentacles with the gloves off, somebody could be dreaming about you. I almost feel like possibly there's some sort of telepathic uh, communication here um, and that's what's triggering this person to come forward or, you know, from the past. Um, I kind of feel like the Knight of Wands is somebody from the past. So let's see. So I kind of feel like advice would be choose wisely. Yeah. Um, which is interesting. We've got two Venuses here. So this could have been um, energy that's built up over the last, I'd say, eight to 12 weeks because we're going at the uh, Venus in Virgo and right next to it Venus in Scorpio which is where we currently are um, Venus in Scorpio not really happy there um, Venus likes to keep thing, things hidden and um, Scorpio likes to keep things hidden Venus is very much it's the Empress abundance you know look at me look at me um, so this could be um, a situation here where somebody's gone feeling grounded in a situation or an idea of something and now really confused and feeling like they need to act they possibly need to feel like they need to act because they've got some sort of intuitive nudge that you have more options again this can be work related this could be a boss that's a, a former boss uh, that wants you back or this could be a current boss that feels like you're getting drifted away or headhunted etc etc so let's, let's see where the Ace of Cups and the Three of Cups are. So the Three of Cups is, is very much um, a reconciliation um, situation here. It could have been somebody you were married to uh, in the past. It doesn't have to be. Um, but we've got the Four of Wands and the Temperance card here. So this could have been um, um, a Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine dynamic, because this is Venus and Aries, which is you guys, uh, but it's also the Emperor and the Empress. And then we've got the Three of Cups and the Temperance card, both cards of reconciliation. So there's definitely somebody that wants some sort of reconciliation here. Um, but let's see what the new is. And the new is with the World and the Four of Swords. This new closes out a cycle and puts to rest something in the past. It's going to be peaceful, it's going to be calming. I would lean towards the new, personally, based on the cards. However, it's going to be different for all of you. Trust your intuition here. Um, if your gut says reconciliation, go for it. However, I almost feel like um, for the majority of you, the universe is trying to point you into something new here um, to, you know, reach your Ten of Cups. All right, guys. Let's just quickly look for the star card. Um, just really standing out is the star, the yellow star in the uh, in the Ten of Cups here. It did jump out at me when I was looking earlier. That, here we are. Okay, yeah. You, you, bring, you come into a conclusion here. We've got the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands, which we equals all four Nines here. We've got Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. We've even got the Moon here. It's an 18, breaks down to a nine. Nine, 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 nine. nine. You might be in a nine personal year, which we work out by adding your um, birth day with the year. So, for example, me, I'm 30th of the 12th. Three plus zero plus one plus two is six. 2022 is six. 6 plus 6 is 12, 1 plus 2 is 3, so I'm in a 3 personal year. So you could be in a 9 personal year, which is all about endings, ready for new beginnings. 
do be aware if something new comes in, not to rush things. Anything started in a nine year doesn't tend to last. So perhaps this is a situation, if there is somebody new coming in, if this is a nine year for you, uh, for example, take things slow. For the rest of you, this is nine, 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 uh, in the sense of finishing cycles, leaving the past behind, letting the, uh, the high priestess clear a path here um, for a brand new clean slate, which is gonna bring the 10 of cups, nine of cups, nine of pentacles, happiness, wealth, independence, beautiful energy, okay? In your extended, we'll look at this a bit deeper. We'll kind of incorporate, um, we'll do a past, present and future. Um, then we'll shake it up a little bit. We'll do diagonally will be new, going diagonally up, new, diagonally down, um, whoever's the past. And we'll look at your advice and next steps, okay? Right, who have we got? Cancer Pisces, Cancer Pisces. Venus in Virgo, Venus in Scorpio, we have Mars in Cancer, Jupiter, no, Mars in Pisces, Jupiter in Pisces, Saturn in Sagittarius, Mercury in Sagittarius, Jupiter in Leo, Moon in Cancer, Scorpio, Libra. So we've got Cups, Pentacles, Wands, and we had Swords, didn't we, with the Queen of Swords, yeah, everyone's here, those are your standouts. Uh, let me know if this resonates, if you can join me, fantastic, if not, see you next time, bye.